Hi everybody, this is Andrew Masters from FIBO Group and welcome to my weekly Forex report. To kick off the week on Monday, traders will pay attention to the European session with the release of the Consumer Confidence Index, which tends to create some opportunities in the Euro. During the American session, we'll see the durable goods orders figures from the US, which came in at a disappointing 0.5% last month. This time round, analysts expect a strong rebound and a number of 1.9%, which may give added reason to the US Fed to lift interest rates next month, and that may give a boost to the US dollar. On Tuesday, during the Asian session, we'll see the ANZ Business Confident Index from Australia, which is an indicator of consumer spending and should create some volatility in the Australian dollar. In the American session, we'll see GDP numbers from the US, which is the last release before next month's interest rate decision from the Federal Reserve. The figure, expected to market by 2.1%, which is more than the previous figure, and should create some trading opportunities in the US dollar. On Wednesday, during the Asian session, the market will await GDP numbers from Australia. These figures came in at 0.5% last month, and another round of negative numbers will technically push the Australian into recession. So this news will be closely monitored, and we expect volatility in the Australian dollar. In the American session, we'll see the latest interest rate decision from the Bank of Canada, followed by a monetary press conference. Although no changes in rates are expected, the following statement will be closely monitored for signs of the bank's future movements, and we expect some trading opportunities in the Canadian dollar. On Thursday, during the Asian session, we'll see import, export and trade balance figures from Australia, which should give a clear indication of the sector and create some opportunities in the Australian dollar. In the European session, we'll see CPI figures from the Eurozone, which came in at a healthy 1.9% last month and shows the Eurozone bear beyond the road to recovery, and another positive figure should lend some support to the Euro. On Friday, during the European and American sessions, the market will await market services PMI from France, Germany, the Eurozone as a whole, and the US. All numbers came in above 50 last month, which shows the sector is moving forward, and another round of strong figures should boost the Euro and US dollar. That's all from me at FIBO Group, and I'll see you all next week.